Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest arrival, a 1958 Ford Skyliner convertible. I'm going to give you the whole skinny in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish because we do a complete walk around of the car giving you more close details. We do a cold start even and we will even show you how this wonderful car actually operates. By that being, I'm saying this is a 1958 Ford Skyliner convertible. Now you want to talk about something really special. This is truly a special car. Now you can find all the information on this car as well. If you click on the link in the description, it'll give you all the paper, all the pictures, all the information, description, and all that of the car. And or you can go right to our website at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com where you'll find close to 100 classic and collectible cars that we currently have in inventory. So if you're uh, in the neighborhood and want to look at that stuff, take a look at our website because we really have a really, really outstanding website that gives you all the details, shows you video and pictures and all that good stuff. But yeah, this is our latest arrival right here, a 1958 Skyliner convertible. Now this was the second year of the Skyliners. They started in 57, 58, and 59 where they had the hard top convertible and that's what this is. That's why I said you'll want to watch this video because we're going to show you how that top actually goes up and down at a mere pull of a switch. The top is a hard top, goes all the way out of the trunk, opens, it goes up. Really a mechanical marvel for 1958, to say the least. Now, knowing it's a 1958 is easy to identify because it's got the dual headlights. The first year that most manufacturers came out with the dual headlights. So that was kind of one of those new, new things that they came out with. Uh, beautifully redone car, absolutely beautiful paint, beautiful all everything about it, Gulfstream Aqua with the colonial white paint with the gold stripe that goes right down the quarter panels and all the way to the back. Now the interesting thing that I always like about these cars, they have what looks like an intake scoop for a jet airplane. I mean everything in the 50s at this time was going towards that wanting the car look like it was moving forward even when it was sitting still. But this car has exceptionally nice paint, beautiful chrome. Everything has been redone. It just is really neat. And here was another one of my favorite things as a kid. The gun sights, as I call them as a kid, that you looked at when you were going down the road. That was just a lot of uh, cars had those at that time. And as a kid, it was just one of my things as, you know, pretending that you were <clears throat> shooting after these, uh, uh, you know, um, remarkable other cars coming out at you. And like I said, 1958 was kind of a new body style because of them going with the dual headlights and, and whatnot. Beautiful as the wide white wall tires, which of course would be very period correct for 1958. The full uh, hubcaps as well, chrome mirror. Uh, you know, let's take a look. Yeah, the interior is exactly as it came from the factory. It's really a nice interior. It's got vinyl and cloth, uh, nice blue carpet. Uh, take a look at the dash. What's nice about this car is no one has really messed with it. You know, and from 1958 to now, that's a, quite a number of years. A lot of times stuff gets uh, tangled up with and they change things or whatever, or they hack in a radio or something. Nope, this dash is exactly the way it came in 1958 and it's been beautifully restored by the way beautiful steering wheel look at that beautiful in condition all the way around and it is of course an automatic it is the uh, a cruise o matic which is a little bit better transmission the three-speed automatic for 1958 so anyone can jump in this car because not only is it an automatic it's got power steering as well just one of those again nice little features that people don't think is important in these old cars but to tell the truth this is a land yacht. I mean, it's a big car. I mean, it's kind of nice to have that power steering for driving down the road, turning corners. Uh, you're probably not parallel parking at too many places, getting, you know, you park like me in the farthest reaches of any parking lot so nobody comes near you. Amazing how they always still find you. That's just one of those other stories. But yeah, beautiful interior. And like I said, we're gonna show you how this top actually works. Uh, it's got the skirts, it's got fender skirts on them. Some people love skirts, some people do not. 
Also, it has one of those other really neat options that people either like or dislike. I actually like them a lot, the Continental kit. It just really gives a little length to the car, gives it kind of a custom look, if you will, and that is uh, the original one on the back and dual exhaust to boot. So yeah, this is really, really a very, very nice car. Now you can find all our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Give us a like, leave us a comment or subscribe. It's always, we appreciate that very much. And you will find the information on this car, our current inventory, and actually a lot of the cars that we've already sold in the past. So if you have time to cruise through the internet or whatever, sometimes you find that, uh, look at those sites, you'll find some really neat stuff that we currently have and have had in the past. But yeah, it is a mechanical marvel all the way around. I mean, like I said, it's a, you know, it's a hard top. So if you get caught in the rain, most of the time, like me, if a convertible, I'm going to be wanting to drive with the top down. That's just a given. But in the event that you <clears throat> run into a rain shower or something comes up, you can just pull over, pull that lever, boo, and the whole top will show you that in a minute. But it's just, it was really a clever idea. They did it for three years and uh, you know, they sold a little over 14,700 of these cars in 1958. 58 being kind of the unusual year. I love 58s. I love the taillights. I love the front dual headlights, but everyone has certain things that they like about all these cars out of the 50s. Beautiful color combination to me as well. Well, if you're like me, I mean, I've given you all the details of it and we're gonna have the video. You can watch the, the cold start, the walk around. But if you're like me, maybe you wanna come on down. We'd love to have you come down to Ellingson's in person. If you're so inclined, you can put your hands. I mean, we, we have to be very careful. We just don't let anyone just touch everything, but we can be with you if you wanna come and look at it in person. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 until five and Saturdays 10 to four as well. So. Come on down, take a look, and see this car and the other beautiful cars we have in our inventory. If there isn't something here that you don't like, I guess we, you know, you're just probably not uh, an old car guy because this place has beautiful, beautiful inventory and really, really outstanding cars. So I thank you very much for visiting with us today and I will see you next time in my many videos that I have done and will do in the future. Take care, see you next time. When you push the button in, the top goes up. So just remember that. You push the button in and the top goes up. Now I always make sure to move the visors down just because you don't want to catch them or anything. But look how cool that thing is. Man, that's a big piece of stuff. Yeah, it's all the, the lift cylinders coming and just moving this direction. Like I said, if the rain's coming, yeah, I kind of want to get that top up so you don't get wet. Look at this beautiful inside on this on this top as well. Look at that. There you go. It just screws itself down. Then your back shuts down. That's where your trunk area is, by the way, is inside the inside that part of the trunk area. And it clicks. There's a little red light on the dash on this car that when you're pushing the button, there it goes off. That means you got her made and she is all done. Now we're gonna go the other way. You pull on this and the light comes on and it's gonna redo its whole thing. Nice thing, the gas gauge works in this, all the original speedometers in place, temperature gauge is working. I mean, this is really cool. There you go, that goes all the way up. There you can hear the screw motors are loosening themselves working on it there you go look at that it is just so cool when you think about it can you imagine 1958 people must have done oh my gosh I've never seen anything like that and now it's pretty common practice on most of the new cars they all have this kind of mechanical wonders look at that Going right in place tops coming down trunk is closing up god this car runs nice smooth 
This is really a nice one. And again, you pull on the lever until it's uh, until the little red light, the little red light just went off. You got her made. Now you can go back to cruising with the top down. What a deal. Thank you much. There you go. We'll see you next time.